Because, of course, in modern societies, we, we still, in modern representative democracies, we still have direct democracy, but we have elements of it within representative democracies. So, for example, this is a, a, a campaign poster from California. Uh, California, amongst all of the American states, probably, well, almost certainly, has the highest aspect, the highest presence of methods of direct democracy within its representative system. So this is on the basis of a, what they call in California propositions. And a proposition is a question that's put before the people. The people vote on it directly, and whichever way the, the proposition goes mandates the state government to, to respond in that way. So this is Proposition 37, um, and it was on, uh, as you can see, food labeling and um, looking at um, the descriptions of additives that were in, in food. So obviously this is a campaign for one side of that proposition. It's a yes, no answer, just in the same way that a referendum is. I think. How is something like that, who sets the agenda of which of those propositions get, um, get, get to a ballot? They, they can actually have, and this is where it gets a little bit confusing, sometimes they're put forward by the state government and they get accepted to be put forward, if you see what I mean. So the government suggests something, they vote yes or no, and then they vote on the actual proposition. Uh, in other cases, they have um, sort of like prior public priority lists each year, and the public vote on which ones they want to come forward as, and they're known as initiatives. You have an initiative in order to have a proposition. But not all Americans, well, actually most American states don't operate this. Um, I think Oregon do, which is why they legalized cannabis, as, as did California. Um, Colorado has some, and I think Nebraska has some as well, and maybe one or two others, but most of them don't. But this is a method. Um, I mean, obviously there are, there are downsides to it as well, and, and we'll be getting an opportunity to work around these issues in more depth, but just to mention one thing, in California, for example, there was a proposition that came forward in the early 90s, I think it was, and it just shows you how you can get elements of, I guess you could say mob rule, or at least majority uh, groupthink, I suppose is another way of putting it that um, they had a proposition in California in the early 90s that someone thought um, the government shouldn't be able to uh, levy additional taxes within the state if they've got existing reserves. They should be spending the reserves before they tax us in order to get revenue. And they launched a proposition on it. It was overwhelmingly accepted and within eight, within eight months, the California state government was bankrupt. So they had to then launch another proposition in order to reverse the original decision, <laughs> yeah, which is obviously, you know, some people well, are suggesting that. Well, local authority that's had a little, do you want to put your rates up in order to improve services? And those who said, no, we don't want to put the rates up. Hmm. They weren't the, the areas that would receive exactly. the, the exactly, yeah. benefits from the council. Yeah, yeah. So that's an argument. Yeah. So there, there are upsides, downsides, but like I say, we'll have a chance to explore that uh, relatively shortly. Obviously, we have methods of direct democracy in Britain as well. Very famously in recent years, the EU referendum. Two years earlier, we had the uh, independence referendum in Scotland. Devolution in 1997 and 98 was voted for via referenda uh, within the separate regions. Uh, in some cases, double referenda. So, for example, in Scotland and Wales, they got uh, a referendum to vote yes or no on independence, plus yes or no on tax raising powers. And the Welsh voted yes, no, and the Scottish voted yes, yes. That's why originally it was a Scottish Parliament and a Welsh Assembly, because the Assembly didn't have tax raising powers, whereas a Parliament does. Uh, that option wasn't given to Northern Ireland, because Northern Ireland was, in many ways, sort of kept on a shorter political leash then. And that's also interestingly, and we'll come on to this in the second session, when we start to look at different electoral systems, that's also one of the reasons why 
STV was effectively imposed on, on uh, the Northern Ireland government, the regional um, elections in Northern Ireland, because they felt that it would, it would better reflect the obviously historic serious divisions that there were within the community. So, so we do have elements of direct democracy, however, most, ju just about all modern democracies uh, exist in societies that are complex enough for um, it to necessitate representative democracy, because obviously there are some there are certain disadvantages of, of direct democracy as well.